Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and these are blueprints you should know. Today I wanna talk about getting actor of class. We have three different nodes that we can use for that. First one is get actor of class, second is get all actors of class and third one get all actors of class with tag. They basically do all the same thing but with subtle nuances. Probably least useful is get actor of class that will take any actor of class on current game world. I will be working with this test lamp, so let's put it right here. If I will leave it just with get actor of class and take this asset, which is test lamp, then first of all, of course, I need to trigger it somehow. So let's put here spacebar after it will be pressed, it will trigger it. And what I want to do is to take that and change its color. So let's set material, text one, and let's set it to bluish color. So now if I click on play and trigger it with spacebar, it will lit up about only one of them. It actually changed its material, but let's say that it lit it up. Let's say if I delete the second one, if it will change anything, oh it didn't, so let's delete the third one. And now it will switch to this one. The problem is that it can be kinda unpredictable to say which one you want to trigger it to. It's generally either the first one or the last one. I believe that it's actually most of the time the last one you have added to your game. So get actor of class can be used if you want to call to only one specific instance of the game and you are pretty sure that it's only instance in that game. Generally it doesn't happen but you may have only one player character or something like that. In that case you can use that but we have casting for that so generally not probably a good idea. So let's go to get all actors of class. What it will do is to take all these actors of class and export them as array, which is basically sets of variables. So let's say again, I want to take test lamp. And what I want to do is first of all, get its length because I want to know how many do I have. So let's print that. I also want to change our set material. But the thing is that you can't really connect it to anything right here. So you have to use for loop node and take it from our array. So let's take array, put here for each loop, and now it will execute these commands for each of these instances. And again, we want to turn it into, let's let's do green this time, well, it will be better. All right, and again, we will it will be triggered after spacebar. So now we have only one, let's try to play it. If I click on spacebar, it changed to green and then on the left up corner, you can see that it showed number one because there is only one instance of it. So let's add here more of them. All right, now there should be six of them. And if I press the spacebar, look at that. We have six of them and all of them are green. And now let's get to last one. I want to use get all actor of class. That's basically something between get all actors of class and get actor of class. Because let's say that I want to take all actors of class. Again, of course, of our test lamp. I want to turn uh, to green only those one that have tag. Let's call them uh, just green with capital G and connect it here. Again, you have to use for each loop because you are working with array. And now if you scroll down in this details panel, somewhere here should be tags and I'm too lazy to find that. So let's just put here tag in the search bar and add here one. Let's put here then green because that's the tag we have set here. Make sure that it's the same one, All right? And let's put it with this one and this one. Tags are specific for each instance of it. it. Click on play and spacebar and it seems like it works. You can change tags, etc., etc. And let me show you how we can actually combine that. So let's put it again here. Create here another for each loop. Let's say that with this one, I want to turn all of them to red color. So set color. Oh, pardon, set material. What am I thinking about? And I want to turn them blue. But once it will be completed, I want to also get our all characters of class with tag and turn them on green. So now that should first of all turn everything to blue, but then uh, only those with tag green, it will turn to green. It will be so fast that you won't actually notice it, but it's good to remember that it's actually it, ha it is actually two separate actions. Another pretty important thing is if you are casting, this is basically casting, getting all actors of class, you can't really use it on event kick because it's generally very expensive and you don't want to, co and it can cause quite a lot of performance problems. So let's see. 
press spacebar and look at that it worked so now you know also how to combine them and how to use all these all getting actors of class that's about it you can check out other blueprints you should know in the description and if you know about some blueprints that i haven't talked about yet let me know in comments i will be more than happy to make video about them and surfancy out